Dr. Abstract here and Zim under the hood and we have a little addendum to the 3JS stuff that we've been working on. So this is Zim inside of a 3JS texture. Isn't that amazing? Wow! So we've been showing a bunch of, uh, well two of them anyway, <laughs> very long, so hence a bunch of uh, under the hood to show you how we've been making all this because it is quite exciting. So what we're wanting to show you this time is an adjustment we wait. I'm going to hit the T key. And when I hit the T key, we go in and we see our texture active. So these are the active textures. And this is kind of live. So look, we'll go green and we'll put the green right above there. And then we can either close that or hit the T key again. And there's the green above there. If we go back to purple and hit the T key, there's the purple. This will take us through the textures, so that's the back texture right there. And if we had more of these uh, act texture actives, then this will uh, glide us through all of them like that. Isn't that beautiful? So we talked about doing that, and now it is done. So let's have a look and see how, how we did it. Uh, here we are down in, in here, and let's see, so where are we? For those of you who haven't been here before, we've already done a couple under the hoods talking about all of this stuff. We're bringing in Zim, we're bringing in 3JS. Uh, we went through all of this stuff. We have um, some texture actives that we're going to be moving into Zim, and then another long one right here is called the Texture... Uh, uh, texture actives, plural, sorry, that we're moving into Zim. That's a long class. And then underneath here, we're doing some 3JS to add, uh, well, up above, we did some, some Zim stuff to make a menu and a backing that we would texture map or map onto that. And then here's where we're mapping the menu and the backing right here. And that's kind of about it. It. We did some other playing around there, but inside here, let's go down and take a look and see where we did that. So this is all the ray casting. It's going to be moved out of here and into Zim, so you won't obviously have this in your in your stuff. And there's a way we've, we've added since those two um, under the hoods, we've added a way to add textures dynamically afterwards and remove textures dynamically afterwards too. And then this set of controls that we're just showing you. So the controls are a Zim panel that has a slider on it. And we've set the damping on the slider, so that's what's giving it the smoothness. But when you do the smoothness, you don't want to do a method or the on method right on the slider or the change method right on the slider. Uh, you want to put it in a ticker. So this ticker allows it to damp properly and slow down and arrive at the proper location. So if that's the case, then we're just going to remove that ticker right away. And when we show the panel, then we'll bring the ticker back because we don't want to process that ticker all the time. And when we hide it, we'll remove that ticker. So that's kind of what we're doing to show and hide that stuff. We're also doing various things in behind, such as hiding all of the 3JS, showing all of the 3JS, depending on what we need to do, hiding, showing the Zim. Pausing the raycast because apparently the raycast is hard to get rid of. Even if you set the renders display to none and you turn off the uh, the, the um, pointer events and <laughs> nothing seemed to do it, so we just made our own little uh, our own little property there to stop doing that. So basically, what that looks like is here. It's just sort of like hey. If that, if not that dot raycast return and don't bother doing the pointers. So otherwise, it was it's kind of weird. It was act, acting on this, like acting on this thing, um, but when we were on this thing, <laughs> so we were here and we could drag most of the circle. But for some reason, when we got to the middle, we there were things that we couldn't drag. It was very weird. We 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 had this empty space where I guess in the background it was uh, it was still raycasting. Um, so anyway. There's that nice smooth motion that we mentioned. Do you want to see what that motion would be like if we didn't have? Uh, I mean, do you care? It's under the hood. May as well take a look at it. These are some of the details that you might want to do as well when you're building. And let's find out where that is. There's the add, the remove, and here's the controls. So we would take the damp off of that. So bump, no more damping. Uh, which means we could have just put 0, 100 to get to our first parameters as 0, 100, just like this, right? comma, 100. That's the 100%. Uh, we went to the squiggly brackets. That's Zim Duo technique, it's called. 
we went to the squiggly bracket so we could get to the damp parameter quite easily. Anyway, let me just undo that. And there's the damp parameter, but we'll take that off for now. We don't want the ticker anymore. And we would not want to add the ticker here, here, and here. We don't want to do any of that removing or adding. And what else would happen? We would, on the slider itself, insert in here a dot change. That's chainable. And an arrow function. We'll do an arrow function for now. Uh, and stick whatever we had there in that and a stage.update to be exact. Although it will update because it sees, uh, Zim sees, like as we drag that, that's updating. So the update will be done automatically. We have uh, Zim Optimize, it prevents double updates. Like if we have to update the component and you were wanting to update to get the sort of latest changes. If you set Optimize equals true, capital, all capitals, Optimize equals true, then it will never update components. And you always are, Anyway, that's very optimized and you don't need to do it. Um, all right, let's uh, refresh this and see what happens. So there it is. And we hit the T key. And, ah, right. We now need a stage.update on the show in here. Stage.update. Because we no longer are running that stage.update. So that'll be fine. Taking it off will be good. It all disappears. So I think we're good. And let's try a refresh. That That's there, it just didn't update the stage. See, just popped in as we updated the stage there. Let's try it again. T. There it is. And this is exact, so not smooth motion. Note that I can like jostle that or whatever. And it's not quite as nice, is it? See what I mean? Like uh, it only took a little bit to, to apply the damping to that. And we'll get a much better effect, especially when we have a lot of these. It'll be a nice smooth scroll through all of them. So that's already available on things like various windows in Zim and uh, lists and stuff. We get smooth scrolling and swiping across lists, etc. But this is just uh, the lowly base slider that we're using in there. And we uh, want to bring back the damping. So let's undo all that and bring it back. Damp of 0.1. Here's a lot of damping, 0 0.05 maybe. So this is even slower damping, and maybe that would be good. Refresh and test. Yeah, it takes a little while to finish off there, doesn't it? That might be kind of annoying. So uh, we'll want to not do that. 0.1's good. Here's sort of 0.5 instead of 0 0.05. Let's have a look. T. Yeah, it's got a little damping, but still, I wouldn't call that enough damping. No. So I like it's it's uh, too immediate. What do we have that at? Point one, or is it point zero five? I can't remember. <laughs> point one test. Yeah, that's probably good. Okay, possibly point two. But we'll play with that in the future. Anything else? Uh, we then show and hide. We talk about that. I can't remember. That was all the... Yeah, I think we did. That is good. Isn't that exciting? Woohoo! So this has been a Under the Hood with uh, Dr. Abstract. That's me. And hopefully you'll go see some of the other Under the Hoods as well. Uh, especially that relate to this 3JS stuff. Uh, very fascinating. I hope to see you at uh, zimjs.com slash discord, zimjs.com slash slack. Bye!